that was nice and quick. It's a different things that I just can't wait to have. I've unpacked, but I need to like shower, tan, food shop. Perfection. Just look at vintage. Good morning gang from my steering wheel. I don't have any phone attachment at the moment, so <laughs> we just have to prop it up and hope for the best. This morning, I am feeling jet lagged. I feel dehydrated because I barely drank any water when I was away. I feel like puffy and tired and just not fully with it. And I managed to get back on time pretty quick, which is good, but I think it's because I never really got on their time. So like the whole time we were in San Fran, I think I was waking up at like five, all of us were, we were up so early every day. I really thought I was gonna be up straight at the gym this morning, like back into the routine. And I'm just allowing myself to have one more day, which is kind of hard for me. I'm someone who likes to get straight back into routine and like get back on it immediately. And I'm just allowing myself that one extra day. So we got back like early afternoon yesterday. I just napped, I slept, I sat on the sofa. James came home from work at like four and we just had like a nice little afternoon together. I've unpacked, but I need to like shower, tan, food shop and all that fun stuff. I just definitely need to up my water intake and my like nutrition a little bit because I did not drink enough water when I was away. <laughs> well, we were so busy, we just weren't carrying around bottles of water or anything. And if we were out, we were being really basic and just getting matches everywhere just to kind of up our caffeine intake because we were so tired. But it was a really, really fun trip. You're gonna see the vlog soon. It was the best thing ever. Like it was so much fun. We literally didn't stop laughing and we did some really cool things. And it's not somewhere I'd ever have picked to go. I don't think like it wouldn't have been in my top like 10 places to visit. But I did really enjoy it and I thought it was a really, really cool city to visit. There's loads of things to do. It's beautiful. All of the houses are gorgeous. We went to Mrs. Doubtfire's house. It just is very, very picturesque in like certain areas. Like it's so beautiful. And the restaurants and stuff were quite cool. They had a lot of like typical Instagram-y, like beautiful, cool menu vibes. So really recommend that. And Portola Festival was also really, really fun. But yeah, we've got a nice smack back to reality today with the food shop. Let's get the food shall be done. My brain is, I need a coffee when I get there, to be honest. I really need a coffee. I'm back, so I'm gonna give you a little grocery haul because I haven't done one in a while and this is everything I've got. So like I said, I've picked like random menus from the internet and we're gonna give everything a go. And all of them are like meal prep ones because I sometimes can't be bothered to cook. Like sometimes cooking is just the biggest bane of my life, especially for lunches and stuff when I'm on my own. So when these are like meal preppy, which is why there's like a big lot of ingredients. So we can just put stuff in the freezer then for when we can't bother to cook. So we've got some baby spinach, some courgette, can't live without courgette, tender stem broccoli. These slipped and fell into the basket because um, they just looked really good and they were, I had one on the way home. These are toffee apple serene bars. <laughs> ketchup, because we've run out of ketchup and that is just an essential. We don't use it very often, but it's an essential and also it's in one of the recipes of the week. Baby corn, I got some sweet potatoes. We've got some baby potatoes, some peppers in bulk because I need a lot of peppers and my peppers are still not big enough to use outside. So we're still waiting for those. There's about 10 on there though, which is good. Some apples, hummus, avocados, garlic. Oh my God, there's so much. Uh, some cinnamon and raisin bagels, which are really yummy post swimming because I always get really, really hungry. We've got some gnocchi, corn flakes, which is for one of the recipes. I'm doing like corn flake crispy chicken. Some wraps, some tempeh. Then we've got some Nando sauce, some chipotle paste, dark soy, Worcestershire. These are all for like a sauce recipe thing. Soup, because I just really fancy the soup. Some pecans, some barbecue soup seasoning, some eggs. I got these coffee pods because these were like £2.70 or something and I just thought I'd give them a try. So we've got toffee nut flavour and creamy vanilla, which I'm going to pop into our little coffee pumpkin that sits on top of our coffee machine and is just full of different pods from all over the show. Some flora butter. This is the best vegan butter if you're ever on the market for some. I got two packs of the soft cheese. This is the plant kitchen one. Personally my favourite. Same with the cheese. The Tesco's vegan alternative cheeses are just really good. This is mainly J James is, but I've got some smoked salmon for breakfast. And then he's just got like packs of turkey mints, a steak, and then we've got some chicken breasts for dinner stuff, and then beef mints, which quite clearly is not mine. But that's our food shop for the next like week and a bit for all of our breakfast, lunches, and dinners. This was an expensive shop. This is like 90 pounds, which is a lot more than I usually spend a week. But I think this is kind of the bulk of the cost, all of this meat. So that's fine but we've got a lot of veggies and a lot of other bits and I'm really excited by my meals this week. I cannot wait 
to start making them and just enjoy some really good warming comfort food that i love like we've got burritos we've got gnocchi we've got crispy chicken like we've got loads of different things that i just can't wait to have so i'm gonna pop all this away make myself some breakfast and get cozy on the sofa to do some bits changed i'm just wearing a little primark sweatshirt and these hollister shorts but i just thought i'd go for comfort today because we're having a sofa day it's um nine half no it's half eight isn't it is it half i think it's half eight but i'm just wearing my vital set these i've had for absolutely ages this one's newer it's very cute i just put a different sports bra underneath so i've got a strappy back but love i need to pack for her hiking snowden so i thought i would just do it on camera and you can see what i'm putting in and then the snowden vlog will be coming at some point in the future but i am going to vlog it because i think it'll be quite funny it'll be like a short one but we're basically staying six of us in one room with bunk beds and it's the girls i went to bali with minus a couple because people couldn't make it but it's gonna be really fun and i've already had coffee and pre-workout this morning so i'm literally like this absolutely bouncing off the walls i'm gonna grab down my weekend bag and then we'll get packing all of this i'm gonna use my katie loxton weekend bag these are the best thing ever i personally really really love them they've got the overstrap as well if you want to hang it off your shoulder but really good size for a weekend bag i think to get there because we're going up on saturday and then we're coming back down sunday it's gonna be quite a quick trip probably not ideal for hiking snowden but we all just needed to make it work for different like routines and stuff so i think i'm gonna go sweatpants and hoodie on the way up because i'm gonna be in the car for like five hours so i'm gonna wear this set which is brand new from what the brand it turned up while i was away but i really like the color of it and it feels super soft so i think that's going to be my travel outfit i'll leave it linked if you want to get your hands on it but it looks super soft and it feels really nice too so that's going to be my getting there outfit and then for the hike i think i'm going to go for socks and pants first and foremost i also need to pack a swimsuit so i think i'm just going to chuck in First one I grabbed, we'll chuck in the Hunter G swimsuit. Basically, there's like different lakes and stuff that you can swim in. So I thought if I pack this and I'll pack some water shoes and I can carry them on the hike. I'm debating whether I take a backpack or not. I think I'm going to put one in just in case. But I think I might just go with one of these, to be honest, because it's nice and small and easy to carry. But um, I'm going to take water shoes just in case I need them. And then obviously like a food bag so I can just have all my wet bits back in that for hiking i'm gonna go black leggings i've got my neighborhood ones which are my friend ebony's brand these are so thick and comfortable so i think they're going to be perfect for the hike just because they'll keep me nice and warm and then i've got a black long sleeve top that i'm going to pack just because i think then i'll be nice and toasty because apparently it's quite chilly up the top and then i've got my hiking boots in the car which i'm going to pack they're just like an amazon pair i'll leave them linked if you want to see what they look like okay for extra warmth and because i know that i might get really hot and want to strip off layers i'm going to go for this like really minimal little lululemon sports bra because it's like quite comfortable and i feel like it's not too compressive which is what i want and then i've got my little gymshark vital crop top that i was wearing earlier because i didn't really didn't really sweat earlier so that can be my little crop so that can go underneath the long sleeve top just for warmth because i know it's gonna be quite cold and then i'm thinking i'm gonna go for this h&m fleece over the top and a beanie so i'll have like thick leggings and then like three layers on top and a beanie hat so that should be okay for warm so that's all i really need apart from pajamas i'll go for these because these are fresh out the wash and then obviously skincare and then like i said i think i'm just gonna pack a little cross round the body kind of vibe and that's all i need apart from my skincare which is still packed from my trip away so that's just going to go in too and then the last things i'm going to put in is some earplugs because we're obviously sharing a room with six of us just in case because i think it can get noisy and then just a hair claw as well so that's basically my packing for snowden which was very quick that was a really easy quick pack i might also pack my power pack actually just because i think that'll be quite handy for the hike just if i lose power and obviously my camera and stuff will come with lovely that was nice and quick while i'm here though i'm going to show you some of the pr that came while i was away just because it's stacked up waiting to be shown and i thought i might as well show you now and then i don't have to show you another time and i won't forget but first up is this jumper which is also from what the brand and it's just like a nice 
black striped jumper which needs to be put in the wardrobe i love this i think it's so nice i haven't actually got a black striped anything so then i've got some more fs greens um i do have the mango flavor which i showed you in last week's vlog and the cup but they also sent me again an extra little bit they sent me the plain flavor and some of the apple cider vinegar gummies which are going viral on tiktok at the moment and i got this from sienna x which is like so so they sent me some bath and body products so we've got cleansing gel exfoliation scrub and moisture lotion so this one is a face and body cleansing collagen and melanin boosting gel the exfoliation scrub and the moisture lotion and then they've also sent me a champagne glass and i think this must be a mini bottle of something lychee martini oh might have to have that tonight one more thing i want to show you one second okay two more things two more things so first up is from naked and this says don't look i'm naked these are some of my favorite bars ever they're vegan protein bars and like just nutritional bars but they've released a new protein collection um so i've got a little tote bag that says grab life by the blueberries <laughs> um they sent me quite a few actually so we've got some of the originals these are just like cocoa orange and blueberry muffin which actually i might pack two of for the hike for a bit of energy but they've sent me over loads and loads of bars so we've got the peanut butter protein bars the cocoa hazelnut and then the caramel so we've got two boxes of each which is perfection i love these then i've got a sticker which is absolutely going on my suitcase because i love these a magnet very nice <laughs> and then i've also got a little notebook here as well which just says grab life by the blueberries as well but these are some of my favorite snack bars so i'm really grateful to have some of those and i can pack some for the road and for the height i recommend if you are a snacker who wants a healthy alternative to snacking because that's me and then last but not least this turned up from olivia burton we've got a little watch box here they've sent me over this watch which i thought was so gorgeous i'm a silver gal through and through um but look how pretty this is it's got a little diamond it's probably not an actual diamond but it's got like little gem in the middle and it's like the square dark face i thought this was so cute and i am quite an apple watch wearer so i feel like to me this is quite a similar vibe if i'm going for something a bit more minimal and i just really like it i think it's gorgeous and then i've also got a little bit of jewellery here as well which looks like so the packaging is just so gorgeous so i've just got the honeycomb necklace which i thought was quite a nice like chunky chain to wear alongside other bits and pieces thank you very much for those olivia burton i love and all the other brands of course i've got lots of goodies to keep me occupied <laughs> i actually might have one of those bars while i'm cooking lunch because i'm quite hungry right now that's everything that's turned up recently while i've been away i'm sure there was other things but i can't think oh i have two bits i got minted if you want to see those oh i have three more i have another bit <laughs> i have this which i don't really know what it is but it's like a wave pro skin spatula so it says it extracts infuses and lifts i need to look into it but this is some kind of beauty tool then from vinted i got this little cardigan which is house of sunny i got this for 30 quid and these retail at about I think like 70 maybe if not a bit more but it's really good condition and i just thought so cute if i wear it open with like a little white vest and some jeans or something when we get back into the summer period i just thought it was really really cute it's not very me but i really liked it so i thought i'd give it a go and if not then i can always just sell it on again and then i got this jumper for 12 pounds which is an and other stories one because you may remember me saying i don't really have much knitwear so i'm trying to invest in some knitwear at the moment but i thought just look at vintage because honestly this is like perfect condition and it's a really nice like dark brown little cropped number so yeah i thought it'd be really cute and 12 pounds for and other stories is really good they were two little bits i got off vintage hope you enjoyed my little haul lunch time i think i'm gonna have a tempeh tray bake for lunch i found it on bbc good foods again i'll link it i just feel like it sounds quite yummy and it looks quite good so it looks like this. So it's got red pepper, sweet potato, baby potatoes, courgette, paprika, balsamic, garlic cloves, etc. Hmm, lovely. I'm really loving finding new recipes at the moment and just like trying something different. And I also kind of love that this one, I think it serves four. Am I right in thinking? It serves two. So this is good because it means I can have it tomorrow for my lunch and like take it with me in the car. I'm going to use my little Le Creuset dish. I actually think I got this from Home Sense because it matches my Le Creuset dish, which is normally up here when the pumpkin isn't. But um, it's really handy because it's good for like just popping in tray bakes or like little mini like casseroles or crumbles or mac and cheese or whatever. Which speaking of, I actually haven't had a mac and cheese in so long. I kind of miss it. I love a good mac and cheese. Um, okay, mix the marinated ingredients with black pepper and two tablespoons of water. Stir in the tempeh to coat it and set aside to marinate. 
I mean, how on earth are you supposed to do this by yourself? I'm just gonna have to eyeball two tablespoons. I think, to be honest, what's left in here is gonna be like one. Something super random that I bought, influenced by TikTok shop, is this. Guys, this is genius. I'm gonna find an Amazon version because it's probably exactly the same price. But you put oil in it and then it's like an oil spray bottle so you don't have to keep buying like the crappy like spray light thing. And it's literally so good. Me and James have been using it so much for the air fryer because obviously tipping oil with, like into the baking tray is just a bit annoying. So this is just like cheapy extra virgin olive oil from Aldi. And then we just put it in the spray bottle and it sprays everything so nicely so that we can just get on with cooking. But I'm gonna go ahead and chuck all of the veggies in now. And hopefully it's all very tasty. So apparently I need like 200 grams of white potatoes and 160 grams of sweet potatoes. Question, are you someone who keeps the skin on a sweet potato or are you someone who takes it off? Because I always keep it on, um, but I know some people will only really have it if they take the skin off. And I'm just, I don't know, I don't mind the skin. I actually quite like it, especially if it's like wedges or like chunky bits of potato. I just don't really mind it. So I'm gonna be keeping mine on, but do you keep yours on? I'm really intrigued because I know some people really don't like it. Like I used to be like that and now I just, I'm not really bothered either way. I'm using the world's smallest knife. I really should be using a bigger one, but I just can't be asked to make another one dirty and then have more to wash up. I forgot to show you before I dished up today's portion, but this is the leftovers for tomorrow. It looks a lot more than it is, but I promise you that's like a portion. It's quite small chunks, like this dish isn't very big. I've actually only had like half of this, so it's not loads. I'm also quite big on volume eating, which is where you basically have meals that are low in calories, but like a lot of volume. So like a courgette, for example, if you have like a whole courgette, which this portion is half, it's like a lot of food but really little calories. So that's basically what I do. And I'm still hitting all my goals and stuff, but much more food. 